welcome to another part of our video if you are new here subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our video about science discovery science technology animal documentary after you watch this video give it a thumbs up leave your comment about this video tell your friends and family about this channel if you have any social media you can follow us on it by searching Science Secret TV at Science Secret TV on Instagram. Today's video is about history of communication. After you watch this video, you will understand how communication is important, and you will also know about communication technology and their inventors or scientists. Let's start. Communication is the process of exchanging thoughts, ideas, information, opinion, and message. To speech, words, symbols, or action. A process of communication can be best complete if there is a sender, a receiver, and a message to be delivered. However, the process is complete only when the sender gets a feedback from the receiver so as to ensure that the message sent has been received exactly the same it was intended. Speaking, writing, reading, Listening and watching are medium used by human beings to communicate with each other. Communication can be best perceived when there are two or more than two people to speak and listen and respond. There are two types of communication, verbal communication and non-verbal communication. Verbal communication includes speech, written words, symbolic sounds, music, crisis, and laughter. Verbal communication is a primary tool for human communication. Larynx. Larynx is an organ in the throat. Helps to create speech by changing the position of tongues and shapes of the mouth. These sounds are put together to form words while communicating. Non-verbal communication includes signals, signs, symbol, icons gestures and images. Sensory organs play a significant role in non-verbal communication through five senses such as sight, smell, touch, sound and taste. A movement made with any part of the body to express thoughts, ideas or feelings is a gesture. Gestures help to shape expression in order to communicate in a non-verbal way. Science language is often used by deaf people to communicate facial expression and the gestures made by hand are an important part of science language. Joan Pablo Bonnet was the first person to publish a book on sign language named Reduction of Letters an art of teaching most people to speak in 1620 in Real Madrid. Communication can further be divided into interpersonal, interpersonal, group communication and mass communication. When a single person is both a speaker and a listener, it is called an interpersonal communication. This involves communication like Daydreaming, nocturnal dreaming, self thinking, sense making, speaking or reading aloud, writing interpretation of non verbal communication. The presence of two people to communicate with each other and to provide a feedback is also called an interpersonal communication. It usually involves communication like discussion, reviews, or simply a chat through spoken words. Communication between two or in a small group called a group communication. A group communication usually takes form of a discussion. Mass communication means a process of communicating information to a large group of people, usually through the means of media. In the early times, sounds and gestures were the only tools used to communicate. Gradually, people started scratching with stone tools on the wall of caves 
they live in to exchange their ideas and thoughts. Rock carving, pictogram, and ideograms were other forms of communication used by people in an ancient time. Cave painting is a form of rock art which consists of caved or painted works on rocks or on the floor, wall and ceiling of caves and canyon. Rock carving, also known as Petrogilfa, is a form of ancient communication from pictures are carved on stone. Where pictures are carved on stone, the earlier form of rock carving dates back to the 1000 the earliest form of rock carving dates back to about 10,000 BC. Sorry, guys. Pictogram is a symbolic representation of the object, concept, or place with the help of illustration and drawing. Pictograms have been widely used by man to communicate since the Paleolithic times. Ideograms are the graphical symbols evolve out of pictogram to shape the idea into visuals. They are the composition of visual elements in a variety of ways. Drums were invented in West Africa. Drums were mostly used to send signals to neighbors to inform about important ceremonial events. Often, often smoke signals were used for long distance communication. Fire smoke serve as the use mean of communication when the Great Wall of China was built. Military messages were sent with the smoke in the daytime and with the fire in the midnight across more than 500 kilometers. Stones, metal sheets, wooden board, wax tablet, and ostraca, a pieces of pottery or stone were used as the early writing material. Greek were the first to develop writing tools. They invented writing silos made of metal, bone, or evil to write on wax coated tablets. Invented by Sumerian of Southern Babylonia, clay tablets were used as, as important tools in writing communication until the Crescenia era. Papyrus is a paper-like material made from the papyrus plant. It was invented in Egypt and was widely used for writing communication. The early pen were made up of seed reed, while a mixture of lamp, soot, gum, and water was used as an ink. Parchment was a thin material used for writing during the early age. It was made from the skin of animals such as sheep, goats, or calf. Parchment became popular in Assyria and Babylonia from 6th century onward. Aragliphy was made special drawing used by an ancient Egyptian and the Maya civilization of Central America for writing communication. They were used to represent words, ideas, and individual sounds. By 2700 BC, Egyptians developed a set of 22 hieroglyphics, first pure alphabet, I believe to be developed around 2000 BC in an ancient Egypt. The alphabetic system was developed in Central Egypt around 1700 BC in the Middle Bronze Age by the Semitic worker. The spread of Semitic structure resulted in development of many alphabets. The Phoenician alphabet, known as the mother of modern scripts, is a non-pictographic alphabet or abjad which was used for writing Northern Semitic language. It is an older than 150 BC, Arabic, Hebrew, and Latin, and Greek script evolved from the Phoenician script. 
Emiratic script or the script of Nubia, the modern Sudan, was derived from ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. It appeared in 2nd century BC. It is an alphabetic script and was written from the right to left side. Aramaic script, the script of Araman state, developed in 10th century BC. The script had 22 letters and all the letters were consonant. The script evolved from the Phoenician alphabet. Greeks and Latin alphabet are descendants of this script. Angul, the Korean alphabet, consisting of 40 letters, was created in Korea in 1416. The simplicity of the language helped lower classes to learn the script easily and become illiterate. And become literate, sorry. Oracle bone script is the early form of Chinese writing used in Bronze Age China. They were etched on animal bones or tortoise shell and were used in divination. The shapes of the character are often described as pictographics. They resemble the object they represent. Cuneiform script developed in Mesopotamia has more than 600 signs. The cuneiform writing was invented by Sumerian in about 3000 BC. It is also called the earliest known writing system. Cuneiform script was writing with stylus on clay tablet, stone pieces, hard wood, wax, and metal. It's believed to have recorded over 2,000 years of Sumerian, Akkadian, Babylonian, and other cultures, and their and their various language. Logographs is a single writing character in the form of a letter, characters, or sign used to represent the whole phrase or words. Maya script was developed in the 12th century BC in Mesoamerica by these people of the Maya civilization. It is considered to be the most complex and most advanced system ever developed. The Chinese writing system developed around 3,200 years ago, comprises of logograms and character. Chinese characters are mostly derived from individual pictograms and are also known as signographic. Paper is one of the four greatest inventions of China. It was invented by the Ceylon in 105 AD. Paper is made from cellulose fiber taken from pop wood trees like spruce. The word paper is derived from papyrus, a writing material made from the papyrus tree. The early process of paper making evolved in the use of mulberry bark and bamboo fibers. These two were mixed with water and were pounded by a wooden mallet. The reading fiber slurry was poured on a thin flat pieces of coarse wooden cloth stretched on the four side bamboo frame and was left to dry. The final dried sheet then removed and used for writing. Introduced in 8th century AD, the quill pen was the most popular early writing tools. Quill pen were made from the shaft of a bird's feather. Tisailun, again, was the one invented paper in China in 105 AD. Due to the unavailability of any means of printing, artists, mostly monks, known as the scribe, used to copy books by hand. News in the Middle Ages spread mostly through oral speech, where people used to walk the street announcing pets, deaths, and other important events. People like peddlers, entertainers, and other travelers also carry message and news during Middle Age. Homing pigeons, breed of frogs, pigeon that is especially 
train to return swiftly to its home were used to deliver message. The first graphic pencil were made in the mid of 1500 in England. Since then, it took out to be useful writing tools. By the end of 19th century, over 240,000 pencils were used daily in the United States alone. Printing was invented in China nearly 2,000 years ago. It became necessary to reduce the cost of reproducing books and to make multi copies available at the time. Printing reached European during 1,300 in the Great Intellectual Period, commonly known as Renaissance. The first European printer, instead of making books, made playing cards as they were in the huge demand during that time. Block printing, also known as woodblock printing, is the earliest known as example of the method used to print text, image, and pattern in East Asia. Bingsheng 990-10551 created the movable type system of printing and typographics in China around 104 AD. A German printer, John Gutenberg, is famous for using independent invention of movable type for the first time in Europe around 1450 AD to print Bible. During the Middle Ages, the Bible gained popularity and was hence printed in bulk. This led to an increase in the opportunities for learning and individual growth. By the 1600s, with the printing of new sheets called Corantos, business news began to spread across the countries. Soon, business news were added in the Corantos, which were made in the first two newspapers. No business news was added added in the Corantos news again, which was made in the true newspaper. Linotype, the first type of typesetting machine, was invented in 1848 by the German-American Otmar Jandler. The Coney Express, a relay of mail by horse and rider, was the first fact test means of communication used for delivering mail in the United States of America. In, late, in the late 1800s, communication improved due to a large number of inventions that include the typewriter, telephone, phonographs, and motion picture. In 1811, a German printer, Friedrich Koenig, used a steam engine to power a press which made pretty much faster than before. In 1814, Koenig's press, used by the Times of London, resulted in producing and circulating large numbers of copies of newspaper. Telegraph is a device capable of sending a message many kilometers in a few minutes. A message is sent through wire by using writing text, numbers and codes dead letter in the Late 1700s, the French engineer Claude Chappé invented a visual telegraph. The first practical telegraph message was sent in the year 1844 between Baltimore and Washington, D.C., United States. The message contained words from the Holy Bible, What a God Wrote. French physicist Joseph Nisephore, Nisip was the first to make permanent photograph in 1826. In 1830, French painter and inventor Louis Jacques Mande Daguerre developed an improved photograph. Ear mail is the carriage of mail by year. The first ear mail was carried by balloon flight on January 7, 1785 from Dover to France. On January 9, 1789, the first year flight of balloon in North America from Philadelphia to Deford 
became the first air mail flight of the United States. One of its travelers, Jean Pierre Blanchard, carried George Washington's personal letter to deliver it to the owner of whatever property. The balloon was going to land on Christopher Latham, Charles, Carlos, Gideon, and Samuel w. W. Saul, three American partner, partner, invented the first commercial, commercially successful typewriter in 1868. An American inventor, Alexander Graham Bell, patented an electric telephone in 1876 that could transmit the human voice over wire. By 1890, the rail system became popular and was widely used in the United States and Europe. Elisha Craig, an American inventor, had also invented the telephone. However, Graham Bell reached the patent office before Craig, and thus Bell was granted the patent. Thomas Alva Edison invented the first practical phonograph in 1877 that recorded sounds on its leader covered with foil. In 1888, a German-born American inventor, Emil Berliner, invented a disc phonograph. By the early 1900s, Edison model of phonograph was replaced by Emily, Be Emily Berliner's disc phonograph. The beginning of 20th century incepted the seed of electronic age. The electronic age resulted in the inventions of radio, television, computers, and other important means of modern communication. The British physicist James Clerk Maxwell invented his theory of electromagnetism in 1864. Maxwell's theory was proved by Heinrich Artis in, in 1895. An Italian inventor, Guglielmo Marconi, sent and received the first radio signal in Italy with his device known as wireless telegraph, commonly known as radio. The first radio broadcast was made from Brat Rock, Massachusetts, United States, on December 24, 1906. By 1920s, radio became a major source of family entertainment. Many radio stations developed and which developed which began to hear music, news and other broadcasts for the public. Many radio stations they have developed year news, music and other broadcasts for public. In 1926, John Logie Bart demonstrated the first mechanical television system. An American inventor. Philo Taylor Francois invented the first electronic television in 1927. He is known as the father of television. In 1929, V. K. Zwakin, a Russian inventor, invented the first television camera tube, kinescope, and demonstrated the first practical television system. The British Broadcasting Corporation (BBC) is the largest broadcasting organization in the world. It started the world's first high definition, 405 line public television service in 1936. Advertising is a non personal form of communication intended to inform an audience about the consumer's product or services offered by the advertiser. Advertising came in around the 17th century in England. After the inventions of newspaper, modern advertising used technologies like television, radio, and the World Wide Web. The first wireless television remote was introduced by Robert Adler in 1956. By the mid of 1960s, due to the broadcasting of colored programs, television became popular during the Second World War. Television broadcasting across Europe and North America remained suspended. Service resumed after the war after the war came to an end. 
the cylinder phonograph was the first practical sound recording and reproduction device. It was erected by Thomas Edison in 1877 and patented in 1878. The most common device for recording sounds is magnetic tape. A magnetic tape can store music, speech, or other weird sounds can be used to gain record in different sounds. A method of recording sounds into permanent medium or record is known as recording. The recorded sounds can be played back in its original form. It can be modified according to the interest of the listeners. Along with various significant forms of communication, cinema has been one of the most important of means of arts and entertainment. Here, artists communicate with the audience to convey message and moral. Cinema was made possible with the inventions of Vitascope, the first film projector. It was demonstrated for the first time in 1895 by Charles Francis Jekyll and Thomas Amat. The first motion picture camera was invented by Lumia Brothers, Augusti and Luce. In 1895, it was the modern filmmaking possible. It, it made the modern film making possible in the late 1890s. The first cinema theater was opened. Computer is an electronic device that processes and controls information. It is one of the most popular devices in the field of communication. The word computer was first used in 1613 for a person who carried out calculation and computation. Charles Babbage conceptualized and designed a fully programmable mechanical computer in 1837. However, the design was never complete due to the lack of finance and other reasons. Electronic numerical integrator and computer was the first general purpose of electronic computer. The machine was completely revealed on February 14, 1946 at the University of Peninsula. Its design and construction were financed by the United States Army during the World War II. Conrad Swiss built the first working computer in 1941. Later in 1955, he invented the first magnetic solid base on computer. The first modern electronic digital computer was developed in the 1940s. George Tibbetts is internally known as the father of the modern digital computer. In 1936, August Dvorak patented a keyboard to improve the speed and also to reduce strain. During 1970s keyboard for typing purpose became popular as a result many municipal and other publications began to use computer link typesetting system. A fax simile, commonly known as a fax machine, is used to send and receive documents over telephone lines and by reproducing both text and pictures. Alexander Payne, a Scottish mechanic, developed the fax machine. The fax simile technology became popular in the 1980s. The first compact fax was introduced by a Japanese multinational corporation. Mobile phones or cellular phones are small electronic wireless phones. The phones have an unlimited range that connect people throughout the world. The first fully automatic mobile phone system was developed in 1956. It was known as the Mobile Telephone System, the MTA. The phone was commercially released in Sweden for the first time. A text message service known as SMS, short message service, enables people to send short messages from a cell phone. Internet, also known as Mother of All Networks, is an electronic communication network that connects millions of computers. It shares information globally. Internet is also known as the Mother of All Networks. In 
internet service began in 18, in 1980s, which widely became popular in 1990s. Electronic mail, email, text-based discussion forum and the World Wide Web help people to communicate and gather information. British scientist Tim Pena Lee invented the web in 1989. The web is also known as WW, which is World Wide Web. Bluetooth is a wireless short range data and voice communication device that allows connection between electronic devices such as mobile phone, computer, and headphone without wires and cable. An artificial satellite is an object constructed by woman and placed in the orbit around the Earth and other celestial objects. They are used for various beneficial purposes such as communication, weather forecast, observation of Earth, scientific research, military works, etc. The first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, was launched on October 4, 1957 by the Soviet Union. Communication satellite is an artificial satellite that functions as a part of global radio communication network. ECHO-1 was the first communication satellite launched by NASA in 1960 that could passively reflect radio signals back to Earth. Satellite communication helps to generate data and information through satellite stations in space, television and radio programs, weather reports, television calls, dish network are all made possible by satellite communication. Direct broadcast DBS and fixed service satellite FSS are two satellite types used for television and radio. The method of transmitting data in the form of light with the help of an optical fiber is known as fiber optic communication. Fiber optic communication can transmit a large amount of information at a high speed. Fiber optic communication system demand for the first time in 1970. They have, they have reformed the telecommunication industry and have played a substantial role 